We know we've got a good product. I feel like we've got a great horse. We're pretty good jockeys, but we're young jockeys and we need that wise head to come in and, and probably help us open some doors and, and give us some wisdom. Hey guys, my name's Dave. And I'm Marco. And we're here today looking for $250,000 for 10% in Vodka Plus. Our long-term vision is to be the global drink of the health conscious. As you guys will be well aware, people are becoming more and more cautious about what they put into their bodies. And this is now affecting the alcohol industry. And we really feel the big players have failed to adapt, leaving a huge gap in the market and a great opportunity for us and maybe some of you guys. In the early stages, none of the distributors or the retailers wanted to take us seriously. So it was all about putting the vodkas in the back of our cars and just going from bottle to shop to bottle shop. Two years on, Vodka Plus is now in over 400 bottle stores across Australia. Wow. In 2018, our goal is to take Vodka Plus to a global sale. So we're about to take a small Australian company and turn it into a massive global empire. With Shark, is ready to get on board and get on this journey with us. Great. Before you guys do anything, let's get you drunk so we can get a deal. <laughs> <laughs> I like it, I like it. I like it, I like it. <laughs> Bring it on. Acai, lemon and lime or pink grapefruit? Lemon lime would be great for me. Lemon and lime? Lemon and lime. Lemon and lime? I'd love to try all three. <laughs> yes, sure. Uh, I'll try that coffee looking one. Our espresso martini. Espresso martini. No carbs. I like the fact there's no carbs. That's awesome. Uh oh. <laughs> it's rocket fuel. You can really one. smell it as you open it's it. It's very strong, yeah. <laughs> no, I mean, you want the heavy stuff, yeah? Oh, yes. yes. I'm just going to have a shot. You want the shot? How do you say that? Is it aki? Is that aki? Acai. Uh, Acai. Acai. Is that like a yoga term again, is it? Or? No, it's, it's a berry. <laughs> <laughs> David Marco, so you want $250,000 for 10% valuing your business at $2.5 million. Correct. Yep. Wow, how exciting. Yeah. What got you into booze? By chance, really. Um, I'm actually from the fitness industry, supplement industry, and... Um, of so that worked. It's an <laughs> obvious progression. Yeah, it was an obvious progression, because <laughs> I could see both my habits were, you know, you go out and drink the vodka soda, and I watched everyone else sort of steer away more and more from beers and wines and sugary drinks. So, sort of half-jokingly, I said, to Marco, why isn't someone put this in a bottle with a premium feel, um, with some sparkling water and no sugar and some flavours? And two, three weeks later, he uh, he sent me up a sample of our first prototype, and <laughs> we're kind of the rest of his history. <laughs> the vodka is your recipe. Yep. Yep. Sorry about ignorance. I can see grapes on your bottle. I didn't know vodka came from grapes. It can. It comes from potatoes, grain, wheat, and it can also come from grapes. And we, we think our grape vodka matches the best in the world as far as smoothness and taste goes. I can taste in your product stevia. Yes, yeah. I know that a lot of people are going, no sugar, let's go stevia. Why have you put the stevia? I mean, a, a certain amount of calories you are allowed if you're going out for a few drinks, isn't it? Yeah, well, I think people just are very anti-sugar, and if you're going to drink, and there are competitors that have five or six grams of sugar in each drink, and they are marketing themselves as healthier, but if someone's going to have three, four, five, that's 20 grams of sugar. You're saying that this product is a healthy alternative to the alcohol healthier. out there. Yep. Healthier, um, yeah. Healthier, yeah. Healthier, yeah. healthier. They're not You've healthy. Got a, healthier? <laughs> Thank you. It's I said alcohol. healthier. It's alcohol. Shut up. That's it. Liquor us up and watch us fight. <laughs> <Awesome>. <laughs> Is there stevia in that one? No. No, that one's full sugar. Some products have sugar in it, some don't. Just curious, the alcohol industry is a phenomenal industry on exit. They pay incredible, ridiculous multiples on yes. top line. So is that sort of one of the appealing 110%. factors? 110%. Right, OK. <laughs> When's that happening? I'd like to hit the US and China market this year, really establish ourselves the next year, and I think by that stage, if we, if we ruffle enough feathers, it might be prime time, as, as early as two years away. So let's talk China for a minute. Yeah. How, what sort of leads have you got? What sort of interest? Most importantly, have you got any orders? Well, we are actually in talks with one order for the straight vodka yeah. into Shanghai. Here we're talking about 40,000 bottles. Yeah. And this is past negotiation. We're literally waiting for the order to come through. You know in China, they tell you what you want to hear, not what the reality is. Yeah. <laughs> Same We've thing. seen that. Yeah. Yeah. We've <laughs> seen that, definitely. Let's go for the, uh, the costs. So based on, let's just talk about our straight vodka, the deal that we've got happening. 
If everything goes to plan, um, it's just under $800,000 revenue and we'd be profiting at $376,000. Oh, that. That's your forecast going forward? No, that's for this order that we're talking about right now. Huh. Valuation of $2.5 million, where do you come up with that number from? Well, when we're drunk. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, but I'm not. No. no. <laughs> So our first year, we got into 150 stores and we did 270,000 in sales. Mm -hmm. Our second year that just passed, we are now in just under 400 stores and revenue was just under 800,000. So on the 800K, what am I writing down for my gross margin? Well, our gross profit for that year was 270,000, but our actual net profit was a little bit more in the negative of that. So net profit was how bad? Uh, minus 120. So I think my original question was, knowing the performance of the business, how do you get to 2.5 million valuation? Well, obviously Marco's told us our, our annual turnover, which is only 800,000, which wouldn't quite equal a $2.5 million valuation. Not quite. But the acquisitions for alcohol companies are well beyond a typical multiplier. If you look at any of the, you know, you look- Yeah, but you're not George Clooney and it's not tequila. I can make a spreadsheet dance. Of course, of course. <laughs> but it doesn't give me a 2.5 million valuation. The only reason would be when you've got absolutely guaranteed purchase orders, distribution yep. agreements, yep. you've got bankable assets, which is the agreements you have. Yep. So what are those bankable assets you have now? No, well, they're not bankable. So we're, 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 on, uh, we're on track. We think we'll do, based on our last year's sales, we'll do about 1.6 in sorry, volume sorry, just in Australia. Sorry, sorry, can I answer a question? Yeah. Now ask, answer a question. Bankable assets. Yeah, they're, they're not, they're not. We're yeah. avoiding it for a reason. <laughs> <laughs> Let's have another drink. <laughs> That's not going to help. <laughs> Let's get another vodka going. Oh. <laughs> what we're starting to work out is, as you guys know, the business world is, it's a dangerous world out there. It is. To be moving forward, moving international, I think it's going to be important to team up with someone that's done it before. Mate, yeah, we've done it before, but careful what you wish for. It's bloody brutal. It really, really is, right? Yeah. No, I didn't, and I missed, but to me, I've been drunk. It's very, very good, to be honest, right? So, how certain is that? How certain is that $800,000 order? Well, <laughs> how, how certain is the $800,000 order? Uh, you can China? ask Dave, I've been on the on my phone all morning going, hurry up, so if I was to make it, if I was to make an offer dependent on offer. that. <laughs> <laughs> Drink all your profits, be careful. Shut the bar, no it's more this drinks. Thing here. This is one here, guys, that we tell you, that is good. <laughs> that, has, that has nuked me, all right? <laughs> that being said... How certain that order is? Yep. They said early this week, they'll be placing that, that first order. Does anyone else want a drink? Oh, Jesus, no. No, you good? Will you guys stop moving? You just <laughs> stop moving, you keep moving. <laughs> Do you have any uh, access to debt at all? The, the, high, the debt that we've obviously is when we owe some money to manufacturers. Yep. Um, but we've worked our way around that all the time. Look, the only way I can do a deal with you yep. right, today is if I took about 42% of this business. Right, which I know I, I don't feel good about because that's mm -hmm. what they do. Their bottom feeders, I'm not, oh. right? <laughs> oh, let me get my violin out. Oh, Give him another drink. that's not even true. I think I'll, I'll make a, a $250,000 um, facility available to you. I'll secure that against 40% of the company if you don't pay up, right? But at the end of the day, I'll be left with 10%. So if you, if you, if you balls it up and don't pay it back, I own 50% of the company. You can get bankers from anywhere, yeah. but, but not very intrusive ones like Steve. <laughs> yeah. How does that sound, an intrusive banker? Let me just think about and that for a minute. And we'll bring all the learning that I've got with other businesses. Oh, the learning. <laughs> That's if you keep your nose out of the product. <laughs> <laughs> if you've got guaranteed purchase orders, why would you not go to the bank? You're effectively giving him 10% of your business for nothing. It's a good deal, isn't it? <laughs> I just, like, guys, listen to what he's saying. Naomi's is oversimplifying it. If you get the money from a bank, how helpful is bank manager going to be for you? Steve has got various experience in this space. Yeah. So what do you guys think of that? Just curious to see what else is <laughs> happening here. Dave, 
Marco, I think you're really clever guys. I think you've done really well. But your valuation is based on spreadsheet engineering rather than proven models. Mm -hmm. So for that reason, I'm out. I've got family and friends in this industry. Right. And the biggest thing that I've learnt is that it's a bottomless pit of money required to go in before you get those great multiples of sales. Mm. So because of that, I'm sorry, I'm out. Mm. It's OK. I think if I work with you for too long, I'd completely lose it. <laughs> Maybe it's too much drink. And look at the scribble on my pad. <laughs> but, but, but more importantly, I just don't want to invest in a business at that valuation where I'm rolling the dice. But I wish you luck, and, and I know you'll be successful as entrepreneurs. Good luck, I'm out. Thank, Thank you. you. So Dave and Marco, you guys, really enjoyable pitch. I'm concerned you're going global. So you're sprinting before you're even crawling out of the Australian and taking good market share in Australia. Okay. For the reason you're not focusing on your backyard, I'm out. Decision making time. What about Steve's offer? I want 10% of your business and I want to pay for it. So. Sorry, Steve, we're going to have to walk away. No, I appreciate that. Good decision. Well done, guys. Well done, guys. Thank Great pitch. Thank, well thank you very much. Thank you. You guys can yeah. take your time. Good job. Thank, thank you, you very much. Thank you. You guys thank are going to make it. Well Thanks, done. Andrew. Cheers, buddy. All right. Well, that's just wiped out the pitches for this afternoon, so. Uh, yeah. <laughs> All the Thanks, best. Guys. Hey, hey, bye bye. Take care. Thanks for coming. Let's try it. Vodka. I love vodka. Steve's had seven drinks. I have not. No, no, they're only one standard drink each. <laughs> so I've had like maybe two and a half. Steve, I resemble <laughs> those remarks. <laughs>